don't know about something, in my channel, I have one video with the most views. I know it's really, really embarrassing. But it's from about one and a half years ago, and it only has 1.4K views. And it was a $100 mystery slime box review. So today, I'm going to be making sure the slime is good and I'm gonna fix it. I had fixed a few, but not all of them. I only fixed like about like two or three. Some of them I actually dumped, which is not good. It was a clear slime because those, those like I could not save. Even if I did save them, I waited for days, they wouldn't clear up. So I just, wait, so this is the funny part. I literally, what I did, was I literally separated every single foam bead and every sprinkle out of the clear slime. And that took a long time. These are all the slimes. And as you can see, most of them are slimes. But then these are these empty containers. This one has lemon um, pimo slices in it. This one has foam beads and sprinkles in an ice cream cone charm. And this one's just empty. So, the one that I need to fix is, this one's already fixed. I'll show you what it looks like now. This one's a little dry, so I think I'm going to fix one. This one is so small. The container's cracked. I'm going to fix this one. I'm going to make it bigger. This one is a clear slime. I think I could do something with this one. Because this is a jelly cube slime. And this one is like a clear base, but it was like white. I mean, opaque. And this one is a pretty good cloud slime. And so this is on the side where you don't have to fix it. But I will show you what it looks like. So let's go on with fixing this one first. Okay, so I'm going to take the slime out of the... Oh my god. It's literally a piece of rubber. I'm going to try the most I can with this. But first of all, I need to get this out of the container. So I'll be right back. I finally got it out of the container. I'm just gonna soak it in hot water and then I'll fix it at the end of the video. Okay, so we're going to move that to the side. And let's see, ooh. Let's try doing this one. Very bliss. So I'm gonna grab another container. And I'm gonna pour the contents. Ooh, there's some dried up slime on the top. I'm gonna pour in here. There's some glitter on the bottom, but I think I might actually change the color. Okay. Put that to the side. And we're just gonna work with this. So, let's see. What should we do with it? I'm first going to add, I think, a little bit of yellow to make it a green slime. It's already slightly green, so it's not going to be too hard. So I'm going to add one drop of yellow. And now I'm going to look, see, I think I'm going to add some fishbowl beads. Unfortunately, I could not find the foam bead, I mean, the fishbowl beads. So I decided I'm going to make it into like a candy slime. So since it already smells like candy, I'm going to add some foaming hand soap. And it smells like watermelon lemonade. So I'm going to add a few pumps of that in here. Just three. And I'm going to stir it up. Whoa! That is a beautiful color. Well, now we are going to activate it. So because I'm making a candy slime, I'm going to add a tiny bit of shaving cream. First of all, for fluffy purposes, and second of all, for activating purposes. So we're just gonna add a little bit because we don't want it to be too fluffy. That should be enough. Okay, and we're gonna mix with this cute little spoon right here. So adorable. Wow, for some reason it's already activating, which is really cool. 
since I didn't have to use any activator. So that's actually pretty nice. It's so beautiful. It looks like a green apple. Slime and even smells. It smells like fruity. You guys have the watermelon and it used to be berry bliss, so yeah. So beautiful. On camera it looks really light, but in person it actually looks really nice and like really pastel. So I'll come back when it's fully activated and needed. Okay guys, I am done with the slime. And unfortunately, it's really runny and droopy for some reason. I couldn't thicken it up. I don't have any clay. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. I might add some foam beads. But look, it's actually pretty sticky. But I can deal with it. So I'm going to show you the charms I found. So first of all, there's this cute little... Gummy bear, it's so adorable. And it's not exactly the same color, but it matches pretty well. On camera, it looks like a blue and the green, but in person, it actually matches pretty well. So that's the first charm right there, candidate number one, so adorable. And second one, it's so cute. It's a little, tiny little cute candy. It's like one of those strawberry candies, except there's no red on it. It's one of those like taffies, you know? So adorable. And this is some activator in here. I'm sorry. I was trying to activate it and my hands were all sticky. And then I have one, two, three. Ooh, ooh, it's a little runaway. Right there. Boop. Jeez, this one's really, really excited. Okay, so those are my charms. So I'm going to add them in. Numero, numero uno. Numero dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. So cute. Oh my god. That looks so cute. This one's a little bit. They're sinking. Help! They're sinking, but they're so adorable. And we're gonna move on to the next slime. Put this to the side. The next slime we're gonna fix is this one. I do not like the smell. I do not like cinnamon. Ooh, I just realized there's these tiny little pearls on the bottom. They're really adorable. But let's get on with this slime. And it's brown, so it's gonna be really hard to Okay fix. guys, I tried to separate as many of the chunks as I could and I ended up with this. It's pretty nice and it a lot of the amount has disappeared because the constant like the contents, even though I took them out, I had to take some of the liquid out too, and that leaves me with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep it as clear as possible. And I'm going to need some baking soda for that. So I'm going to go get some with my little cute blue scooper. And it's supposed to be for instant snow powder, but I use it for baking soda. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of it because this is a really small slime now. I might add some clear glue. But well, I don't think so. Not yet, at least. So I'm going to stir that in this time because the container's so small. I'm going to use my chopstick. And I'm going to try and do something about the scent because I really do not like the scent. The baking soda isn't really mixing, it's kind of just like globbing up in the slime. Do you see that? That's just the baking soda. Okay, I'm done fixing the slime. I, over I overactivated it just a tiny bit. 
because once it clears up, it's gonna melt a little bit. And for the charm, I have a little apple. It's really adorable. And I actually, because of the apple charm, let me ask you guys a question. Should I start a slime shop? Because I do have many ideas. And if it were, this is one of the slimes. It's called apple juice right here. It's called apple juice. And here's the apple charm. So guys, tell me, should I start a slime shop? Would you guys buy from it? Because if it were, then I'd be really happy and I would try hard to make my slimes the best as possible. Right now, I've already gotten to the habit of washing my hands every single time I play with slime, no matter what slime it is. So, I hope you guys say yes and buy from my slime shop if I do start one. But I'm not sure yet, so comment down below if you think I should start a slime shop. Okay, so with the charm. It's so cute. I don't know if this is supposed to be a foxtail or something. Because you see, there's... okay. There's these weird lines, but it can also pass as an apple. So, I'm gonna put it in there. So cute. Look at that. And once it clears up, it's gonna be way cooler. On to the next slime. Now, we only have Fruit Loop, and it's not much of a big deal. I just need to add some hair gel into it, because it's really hard. But other than that, it's actually really nice on the bottom. It's actually pretty good. So, I'm just gonna grab some hair gel. <laughs> from a big bucket. I'm just gonna put some in. Okay, that should be good. So now I'm just gonna mix it. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about stuff. So if you guys have seen my other video called Traveling to Florida, and it's called Arriving and Getting Wet. So I'm sorry I haven't been able to upload the second one because basically I was recording some of the parts of my stepmom's phone because my phone had issues that day. It just, the screen wasn't working for some reason and, oops, I'll pick that up. Okay, and I just had to record off her phone and she forgot to send me the videos and I forgot to tell her too. So I now have to, you guys have to wait until she comes back to Texas and I'm really sorry, I should have remembered that, I should have. I tried to airdrop them, but then it didn't work and then, then I kind of just forgot. So I'm really sorry guys, thank you for being so patient and oh my god, it's so nice now. And I'm going to do some ASMR for you guys. You guys haven't seen me done, do ASMR in a long time. Okay, now that this is fixed, there are no more slimes to fix, and I'm going to show you the slimes that I have fixed off of camera. So, first one, if you guys can remember, it's called Cry Baby, and it smells like baby powder, and it's really, really cute. Has pastel foam beads in it, and and it's a light um baby blue. And it looks like this. It's really cute. And it's really thick now. It used to be a lot runnier. Now it's super thick. And it's really nice. Okay, some more ASMR. Move this aside. Okay. Comment down below what video you would like next. I will probably do your suggestion. And lastly, it's the cloud slime. I haven't played with that in a long time. So if it needs fixing, then I will fix it. Well, that was like, <laughs> that was like flarp. Okay, so this one still has the charm. 
I haven't even put it in yet, which is crazy because it's been le more than a year and I haven't even put the charm inside, which is crazy. This is a really nice cloud slime. It is really good. It's really good, guys. <laughs> and still so amazing. It hasn't changed at all, which is really nice. And it's not too wet. So, put the charm in there. So cute. It's like hiding. <laughs> Close it. And now, we're going to move on to this line. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, it's so freaking hard. I don't think I can fix this. I'm sorry, guys. Oh my god, it literally just bounced on the floor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below and say, would you want to buy from my slime shop and should I open one? Well, I would really appreciate if you were to subscribe and like this video. Here's a clip of the before and afters of the slime. So the before here was just a regular clear bluish green slime and the after was a very light green and it had a little gummy bear in it, it had a little candy wrapper in it and it had a few bluish green beads and it was so fluffy. For this one it used to be regular brown slime but then it turned into a lighter brown because of the air bubbles and i added an apple charm into it but it will look out to be pretty much the same in the end except with an apple charm also i use thumbnail maker for these collages hashtag not sponsored <laughs> and i couldn't get the icon to go away so it just shows now so good for me